In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to replace the Human Touch Supernovo silver side panel. The first thing we're going to do is power off the chair, then unplug it. Next, we're going to lift up the foot and calf massager and insert a sturdy object underneath it just to hold it up and out of the way. It just makes it easier to access uh, the front bolt. Okay, then we're going to use a six millimeter Allen wrench to remove that bolt uh, that secures the front of the side panel to the chair. Next we'll open up the small zippered pocket located right behind the speaker and use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw inside. Now we're ready to slide the side panel slightly forward to detach it. However, keep an eye up near the top part of the side panel for a speaker connector as earlier models have a connector there. Now we're ready to disconnect the hoses and the electrical connectors. If you had a speaker wire up at the top of the side panel, then you'll only have one connector here, otherwise there'll be two. And you don't need to worry about the order of the hoses as they're numbered for easy reassembly. To remove the silver side panel then, we need to use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove 12 screws, uh, three of which are not visible. They're hidden behind the uh, fabric there. And actually you don't need to fully remove the screws, just uh, loosen them. As you can see, this is one of the screws that's hidden behind the fabric, but there is a little hole to give you access to the screw. And another little hole in the fabric. And the last hidden hole, you can just pull the fabric aside. And once the screws are all removed, the silver side panel just drops off the side panel. And you can remove it. Okay, to install the new side panel then, we just simply place it into position and hold it up uh, to align the screw holes and start tightening the screws. Now when we get to the two screws that are hidden with just the little holes, it's, um, we're gonna use a knife to cut away the upholstery a little bit so that we can visually see the screws to align the screwdriver properly. Otherwise it's really difficult. And for the last three screws then, it's actually easier if you just remove that plastic uh, plate and tip it upside down to remove the screws and then place it back into position, aligning those three posts with the screw holes underneath. And once we know those are aligned, then just replace those three screws to secure it.
Before we place the side panel into position, we need to note the three mounting areas that we need to pay attention to uh, when installing the side panel. The first is at the top, that bracket there will go into the slot at the top of the backrest. Down lower, there's sort of a horseshoe bracket that will slide onto this post. And finally, that horizontal bracket will rest on the corresponding bracket on the side of the chair. Okay, now we can place that side panel up next to the chair and kind of rest it on your legs while you uh, reinstall the hoses, uh, being sure to match the numbers. You can see there's a label one, two, three, four on the side of the side panel. So match the corresponding numbered hose. And then be sure to connect the electrical connector, whether you have one or two. Okay, then we're ready to align those mounting points and slide the side panel backward into position. Now, if you had a speaker connector up by the speaker, then you'll need to connect that um, as you slide the top of the side panel bracket into the slot. But we don't have that on this chair. Once we're sure the side panel is attached, we can kind of pull out on it just a bit to make sure it's engaged, like so. And then we are ready to uh, replace the Phillips head screw to secure the top of the side panel. Okay, then we're ready to reinsert the six millimeter Allen bolt to secure the front of the side panel. And use a six millimeter Allen wrench to secure it. Then we can remove the sturdy object we put underneath the foot and calf massager and lower it gently to the floor. To test the chair to make sure everything is hooked up properly, we need to test all the backrest air functions, the sound, and the left arm control panel. And then we're done.